Right folks, this is a uh, promoting local businesses again, once again in the Leicestershire area. I've come to site and I'm at the, uh, where am I Dave? We're at the Bear Falls, the uh, Cask and Tap House. There you go. Um, I found this place a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I needed to get some vape and I went over to the vape shop across the road and I said to the wife, come on, we're going in here. And uh, I love it. Um, you walk in and you get like an old style public house friendly feeling. Uh, I'm not saying that because he's a big lad and he's standing next to me and he could drag me over the bar, but it is. It, he's just got a lovely warm atmosphere and if my wife likes it, there you go, that just uh, goes on. Yeah, we're recording, making sure. Um, so tell me a bit more about your business, Dave. I mean, like I said, I loved it when I come in. So how did you come up with the idea for the pharmacy thing? Well, I remember it was, uh, it was a Saturday lunchtime, wasn't it? Yes, the weather, the weather was too well outside, and you, you came in and had a pint or two and uh, tried our crisps. Yes, tried the slabs. Tried the slabs, yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, this is a micro pub, yeah. uh, and the way you just described it is exactly what a micro pub is all about. It's about uh, getting back to the community, having a, uh, have a space where community can actually come and talk, communicate with each yeah. other. No electronics, no gadgets, no. no machines, no gizmos, no technology. Yeah, it's back to basics. It's, 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 it's like when I first started drinking around 1986, 87, uh, and you used to go to a pub, and you had the bandits and you had like space invaders, but it's got none of that, and it's, it's lovely. Yeah, everyone seems to love it, and it's obviously about the real ale. Yeah, that's why we've got, it the, is. That's why we've got the five handfuls on the bar. Yeah, so it's all about real ale, it's all about the craft beers, We've got something for everybody in here. Yeah, and I see you do a bit of gin as well. Yeah, we've got, got a nice... We've got a cracking gin selection. Yeah. And, uh, uh, be surprised. Mother's Ruin. Everybody loves gin. Yeah. Everybody loves gin at the moment. It's the end thing. And uh, we're, we're, yeah, we've been open five months now, and it's going really, really well. Brilliant. I love it. Um, what, so how come you got all the pharmacy? Where did the pharmacy idea come from? What I'll do in a bit, folks, um, I'll take a guided tour around the pub, and uh, we'll, we'll show you all the stuff they've got. But how did you come up with it? Well, I was... Uh, feeling that I wanted to open a micro pub for about the last five or six years. Right. And um, I was having to talk to a, a friend of mine who asked us now become a business partner, but at the time we were just friends and we were sat in the real old classroom in Leicester, which right. is another micro pub, yeah. you must go and yeah, see it. Yeah. So if you're that side of town, down Allendale Road, great little place. And it's themed on a classroom. Right. Now my business partner or friend at the time wasn't really a drinker, didn't really yeah. go into pubs. So I was explaining to him what a market pub was all about, back to basics, no music, no TVs, yeah. good real ale, conversation, as you, as you see when you do the tour, you'll see yeah. all the seats, the facing in, so it creates conversation, it creates atmosphere. And there we are in the real classroom, which is a theme on a classroom. Yeah. Well, what's your theme going to be? I says, they don't have themes. Yeah. They're just sort of basic and wooden and a bit industrial. They yeah. went, well, you could have a theme, couldn't you? So I went away and I've got all oh, got this 1950s feeling in me anyway and I found an old black and white photo of an old uh, counter with the drawers that's yeah. why we've got the drawers then the pill bottle was listed yeah and uh, I just said to her oh, I reckon a 1950s uh, pharmacy yes. or a 1950s chemist would be a great uh, would be a great theme and he went you know what I reckon that'd be a great theme do you want a business partner so I said well who do you know that wants to yeah. open a pub with me he went I'll do it brilliant and the partnership started and then we started looking it and it's took us probably three or four years to find this location in Sarston. Yeah. We tried other locations, we tried at other places in Sarston, we just got messed around by different landlords and I think after it all, we found the best location. This is, this is ideal. I mean, it's, it's slap bang in the middle of the villages of, you know, uh, Salby and Barrow and Quart, and then you've got Leicester, and with it being in Sarston and Thermiston, you've got a lovely little catchment area, it really is. So, uh, so what... Um, what beers have you got then? What, uh, we've got, we've got five, this on here. We've got five real ales. Yeah. And uh, primarily, as a micro pub, we like beers from micro breweries. Yeah. Uh, we've got two house beers on, which are the Shipstons, Marl yeah. and Bitter, which come from a, uh, a brand new brewery that started in Nottingham, just a stone's throw from the old Shipston brewery. Yes. Called Little Star Brewery. And they're now our house beers, so right. by supporting a microbrewery, you, yeah. that's all part and parcel of it. It is good because, I mean, I've, when I was younger, I used to, sorry for the camera being on a bit of a wonk there, folks, but uh, um, I used to drink the lagers and all that, and typical We've got lagers stuff, for the lager yeah. drinkers. And we've got whiskey and cider drinks and all that. We've we got ciders, we've yeah. got lagers, and then we've got our craft ales there, we've got six craft ales, so which are ever-changing. really do cater for everybody. Yeah, and these three, these three pumps are ever-changing. Yeah. So these, when you come in, these will always be different uh, 
uh, guest beers and we've actually had 172 different guest beers on since we opened. Oh, so that's why the cricket term, um, I noticed that the other day, it's like the cricket, the cricket uh, score up there. Yeah. We haven't even been open 172 days yet. Brilliant. But we've actually had 172 different beers on, that's guest beers. Right. Forget the, forget the lagers, forget yeah. the ciders, forget the craft beers, we're just talking guest cast, which are these three pumps here. That so there's 172 nines of real ale gone through these three hand pumps since we opened. Brilliant. Which just shows you the support that we're getting it's, from the local people. It is people. amazing. I mean, I've, I've been in like, I, every time I'm off on the weekend, um, I do come in and um, I just love it here. If, I, if this was my village, I'd be in here quite a lot. But uh, shall we take a walk around? Well, we never know, we might be coming to a village near you very well, shortly. Who knows? Yeah, you never it know. Might be a pharmacy number two coming. <laughs> yeah, have a walk around. Well, have a walk around, shall we? Um, I'm going to show you the decor, folks, because um, it is absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know how you've managed to get all this. Let's see if I can turn yeah, it Lots, of, lots yeah. of uh, eBay auctions, yeah. lots of antique fairs on Sunday afternoons. You know, when you buy one leg, you have to buy more legs. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it really came. Then you've got all the perfume bottles from the 50s. Yeah. You've got the men's and ladies' uh, going away outfits. You know, the old, the yeah. old uh, packs that they used yeah. to have when they used to go away. Going on to the medical side of things. We, when we bought one medical thing, we just thought we might as well buy some more. Because yeah. how many pill bottles can you actually buy? I don't know. And that's where we started. We started yeah. just buying pill bottles. And then it thought, well, what else can we do? Well, we'll buy a bit of this. Then we'll buy a bit of that. It's, and it just went on and on and on. There, you're, they're obviously all operating yeah. equipment there. And these, the best thing about these, me and the wife sat here the other day. Um, I had a sausage roll and dropped all the crumbs on the floor. I do apologise. Right, yeah. Um, but these have actually been used, haven't they? Oh, yeah. On yeah. people. Yeah, absolutely. I imagine most of them are now banned. They're yeah. They're a little bit macabre, aren't they? They are. Um, but, you know, it, it just sort of escalated. The more things we bought, the more things it, we saw. Are you and still then, buying? Are you still no, adding? No, no you... We've, we've got more than enough at the moment. You buy one hair dryer, you see. Yeah, that's and it. you buy one of each colour. It is absolutely... Look at the old eye testing thing. Bit of, a bit of uh, the eye testing optical stuff. You buy one meat, you've got to buy a little bit more. Yeah. We've got the cameras all from the 50s. All those that came out in the 50s, we've got all the cameras there. Uh, there's a couple more to go with if we've had donated. Yeah. You need to put those in. Then you've got the better photography stuff, the old projectors. Obviously, lots of goes unders. Yeah. Uh, the old potties. Goes unders, that's the. Uh, under, yeah. yeah, that goes under. There's probably then, some uh, of the viewers. We've got a dentist chair. Yeah. yeah. And, well, and then we found Cedric. There you go. Cedric's our, our, our Wellington, our, our, you know, our, our resident skeleton. Yeah. And above him, you'll see all the bits that we used to make false teeth in the 50s. There you go. Yeah. That's why people's false teeth fell out, because they weren't exactly well made, were they? No, they weren't. Um, and it just went on and on and on, really. And then the <laughs> idea about the posters, because you'll see all the 1950s posters, they're all yeah. original, all downloaded from the internet uh, by, my, by my business partner, uh, all resized, all recolored, and, and put up individually. It's not a wallpaper there. Yeah. Every single poster is individual. It's, and it's, it's just to keep in keeping with the theme. It is really, really good. Um, uh, you, you don't do food, but you do proper... We do traditional bar snacks. Traditional bar which, snacks. Uh, we've not got any at the moment, but we've got the cobs, pork pies, and we've got sausage rolls. Yeah. What more could you need? Yeah. And there's uh, the slabbed crisps. And then the slab crisps. You have to have a bag of slabs there. Yeah. I, I believe they're the best crisps in the yeah, world. Yeah, they are. Uh, and the they're just so different. Yeah, the it's snuffling pig as well. The, it's the scratchings, yeah. crackling. You've a few olives. To yeah, with the gin. olives. It's just absolutely it's just, brilliant. It's just the basics, and it's yeah. what a real pub's all about. This is what I say about things in life, anyway. Um, We'll take people upstairs in a minute. Um, uh, this way, there you go. Um, what people in life um, make things complicated. Turn that round again. <laughs> this is when I leave yeah. the wife. I'm, um, <laughs> I'm a big believer in keeping things basic and exactly. simple. Exactly. People make things complicated and they screw them up. It's like football, isn't it? Yeah. Football's a very simple game. But people make it complicated. Absolutely. Yeah. And what you've done here, you've kept it simple, and it's you've, it's like what people want, and you've done it perfect. I, I mean, I'm not singing your praises. If I didn't think you were any good, I wouldn't have come back. But well, thank you. It's, for that. Um, uh, that's the kind of bloke I am. <laughs> but um, it is. I absolutely love it here. And, we, went, um, we went for a bit of comfort as well. A lot of micro pubs are very wooden. Yes, very they hard. are. You they sit, are. You're sitting on beer barrels with yeah. cushions on the top. You're sitting on wooden seats. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got a pew. We even put a, we even put a cover on the pew to make yes. sure the pews are a bit softer. We've got we've got the settees. We've got the cushion stools. Yeah. 
it was just thought, well, if we're going to do it, let's make it. Yeah, let's do it properly. Let's, let's make yeah. it comfortable as well. Because yeah. not everybody wants to uh, sit on something hard. Yeah. So, shall we take a walk upstairs? Yeah, let's have a walk upstairs. Um, I'll, uh, I'll go first, and I'll uh, then you can. Now, oh, I've got to turn this bloody camera around of me. Ah, there you go. So, um, I didn't realise you had an upstairs here uh, that was. Well, we originally wasn't going to. Um, original plan was to maybe put a flat or something up there, just offices. Yeah. Uh, but we've been that well supported, we felt we needed a little bit of extra space. Yeah. Now, these stairs are classic. They look like a proper working men's kind of old 70s pub and my missus loved it and I could see her wanting me to do this in our bloody house. But absolutely, serious, isn't it? yeah. But this up here is like a cherry on the top of the cake for me. It it's, is uh, it's a secret hideaway. It is, it's absolutely. Now, if this isn't like walking back into 1976, I don't know or what it is. Maybe even earlier. Yeah, or earlier, yeah. We've, uh, we've invested in a Punch and Judy as well, which is more uh, in keeping with uh, the theme. I'm going to learn how to be uh, a professor of Punch and Judy. Okay. That's my job next. Yeah. Um, we brought the 50s theme up, so you've got all the old radiograms and TVs from the, uh, from the day. You've got them on there, then you've got the black and white TV programs from yeah. the day of the 50s. Moving along, you've got the, all the old adverts from the magazines. Yeah. Um, put a dartboard in, we've got a couple of dart scenes coming. Yeah. That's going to be a community bookshelf, so bring, in, bring a book, take a book. Brilliant. Just a book exchange there that we're setting up. We've got lots of games for the, uh, for the family and the kids. So you do allow children in here? Yeah, absolutely, right. yeah. Yeah, so that's even then again, like, it's, it's the back in the day where you could take your kids to a, um, a pub. I, I think it's and great when you yeah. see families come in and they're all sitting together and they're all playing games. Yeah. And you know what? They're actually all communicating with each yeah. other. Yes. No more phones. No. Let's get back to how it used to be. Exactly. That's how it was. We didn't have phones in the 50s. No. Let's get back to playing games. I see games, uh, you have got one bit of technology. Yeah. Well, that's obviously for the odd sport event. Yeah. And uh, on the Saturday afternoons, uh, when the kids are up here all playing games, we can put some cartoons on for them if they want. Yeah. Uh, and, and the football results come through and, and all that kind of stuff. Come yeah, through, so exactly. It's, it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. If the old mu musical instruments that's, there. That, well, that's all the old. Uh, Music muddy posters. waters. Yeah, all the muddy. That's all the old. Uh, Frank, it's it's so. I don't and then know. You've got all the old horror films of the fifties, which yeah, we all remember as watching as kids. Yeah, Godzilla, The Wolfman, and it's absolutely they amazing. Were, they were all full films, but we all watched them, didn't we? Yeah, and there's the settees and the chairs that you're yeah, on about we, later. Yeah, we, we we brought the comfort up here as well. You've got tables and chairs sit on, but you also got the settees, and you've got the ability to create pew again. I think every yeah. pub should have a pew. Yeah. We've actually got two. Brilliant. And we've had that covered as well, just to make Take it a Take a pew, bit, as they say. A little bit more comfort, uh, but it, it's working. It is. It is absolutely brilliant. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, well, you this, know? this room's available. Yeah. Uh, this room's available for functions and hiring. So we can hire this out if you've got a christening or some kind of a small wedding or a birthday party. It's absolutely, yeah. yeah. We've also brilliant. Got, we've also got like a board style room just through that far door there. Yeah. Uh, which... A lot of people are using just lately for meetings. Yeah. You know, a proper board style meeting in there, which is great. But I'll have to uh, remember that. toilets up here as well. Yeah. Oh, so you haven't got to go down the stairs to use the toilets. No, you've got you've got also... Got that's ladies, brilliant. We've got, ladies, we've got the job with gents. Okay. So we'll go downstairs and um, finish this off down there. Okay. It's... Uh, it's just... I love it, absolutely love it in here. That's where I store all my empty barrels. Yeah. It's just been uh, collected because it's delivery day. Yeah, day. so delivery days so on a Thursday. The posts up there are all, uh, all from the old breweries. And you've got the Noskin breweries there, Shipstones, Home Ales, Bass. You know, it's Brilliant. Just again, in keeping, but again, 50 C. And we've got another, this is, uh, this is Celia. <laughs> this is Cedric's wife. Brilliant. So, you know, he sits out on the on the dentist chair. She likes to stay in there and keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. I love it. More instruments there. Um, yeah, all operating stuff. It is. It's just. I just. I can't say how much I love it. That it's just unbelievable. What you've done here in such a short space of time. I think we've created. Create definitely created something special. You have. You have. Uh, so what's your popular beer? What's your most popular beer? Um, that kind of thing. It's alright, I'm not after one because I'm, I'm driving so, but... 
I've been drinking the uh, Pearl Jet. You've been drinking the Pearl Jet, which is all that uh, is absolutely brilliant. Which is all Guinness. Yeah, that's your Guinness, and the wife likes that, so it must yeah. be good. The um, pale, the pale pulp goes the best. Over yeah. the weekend, we can put a nine, a different nine on every day. The same three or four nines over that the weekend. That is brilliant. The pale beer. Absolutely. Uh, but they love the stouts as well, which is surprising me because they didn't think we'd do many stouts, stouts and porters. Stout, you're in the you're in a stout area. Absolutely here. loving the yeah. stouts. I did. I had. Uh, what did I have the other day? Harriet, not Harriet, Harriet. I can't remember. You try the chocolate. Yeah, and it, it was just absolutely great. Yeah, they're all fantastic. And, and they, I've got to say, the ship owners, because it was originally a ships in the village. Yeah. A couple of the pubs we yes, the ships and the old bakers. The amount of the old boys that are coming yeah. down having a pint to mix. Yeah. They're loving it, but and it's as, it's as close as obviously yeah. it's not going to be exact because you know, the brewery was just in 1990. Yeah. So the, these guys have reformed. They've, they've got the recipe, they've got the rights to the name, they've got the rights to the uh, the star, etc. And, the, and they're recreating it, and it's as near us. It is I, good. I was brought up on it when I was yeah. 15. So uh, it was. It's as near us. The good the thing I like about this place is that you know when you walk into some pubs nowadays, and as soon as the door goes open, it's like American Werewolf in London, isn't it? People look at you, and you think, oh bloody hell, what? There's an atmosphere. But I've been in here like four times now, and it's it's just a welcoming a welcoming atmosphere. There is absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's funny that that was raised with me last night about a, a different venue within the yeah. within the vicinity, and they said exactly the same when they walked in there. Especially being a lone female, yeah. they walked in there. It was like head turn, yeah. American werewolf star. Yeah, you made me miss. And she walks yeah. in here. She just comes, order drinks, no. sits down, and, and she exactly. says, I'm, and nobody feel I'm not bothered. Yeah, that's what my she wife said. said. I absolutely love it. I, yeah. said, I feel so comfortable. Yeah, it, and that's that's the atmosphere. Yeah. That what we wanted to we wanted to create a safe and space. You certainly get it. So, what, what staff is there? Is the obviously there's yourself. Uh, your yeah, there's me, there's me, there's me and Bob. Yeah, and then um, I've got for about five part times. Yeah, it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. Well, thanks for um, letting me come in and review you. Well, thank you. For well, is there anything you would like to add to finish this off? In, to promote, I mean, I'm promoting local businesses, so whatever you've got to promote, you go for it. Well, that's that's why we've got the local beers on. Yeah, we uh, we have the local produce from the uh, from the local bakery. We have our prizes just for us yeah. from the local butchers. So we're completely independent as well. So you are we're, like a business. We are supporting as many independents yeah. as we can. And that's that's brilliant. That's what I want we've to got, do. We've had beers on from uh, Mark, Mark, it's, uh, Melton Mowbray in yeah. the round corner. We've had the beers. We've had all the local ales on. We support Colin in Beaver. That's what we're about. Yeah, that's let's, brilliant. Let's, it is, let's support each other. That's absolutely. the independent. It is. Other. That's what it's all about. It's just supporting each other. Let's hope we see you all for a pint soon. Yes, we'll all be back. I'll be back. No, I'll definitely be back. I'm working. I've got bloody nice this weekend, so I won't be in this weekend, but I will be in the following weekend. And don't forget. Uh, here we go. Don't this, forget. This, slabs. Hold that up to the camera. Slabs. No other reason. Come in for a bag yeah, of slabs. Yeah, bag of slabs. They are once absolutely you've tried them, You'll, once yeah. you've tried them, you'll absolutely you will. I just wish you could get them in more places, to be fair. Uh, uh, I think I think they're starting to roll about now. Yeah, they will. They uh, are good. They get, they get in more places, but uh, we've definitely always got them here. There you go, it's just supporting a, a small business again. Again, another, another little business Yeah, there, started his own crisps. That needs all the help they can get in, this, uh, in this world of globalisation where the little fella can't get a foot on the ladder, mine absolutely. get up it. So, yeah. uh, so thanks for letting me and David do this. Thank you very much. Really good of you. I'll see you again soon. Get down the. And all you viewers out there, come for a pint, come and yeah. see us. Come and Beer see us. Pharmacy in Sison. It's got to be worth a good couple of hours' drive just to get in here. On the uh, high street. How do you spell pharmacy? Pharmacy with a Y. Exactly. Uh, normally, but we've got an IE. That's it. Uh, purely because we don't sell medicated drugs, we yeah. sell self medicating <laughs> drugs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you want me to do more stuff like this, just give me a hell yeah and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, all yeah. right, folks. <laughs> <laughs> See you later then. Cheers. Right.